hello my loves welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome welcome my name is shahida and if you're a returning subscriber hello my loves what's up how y'all doing today i'm doing super fantastic first i just wanted to just come on here and thank you guys for getting me to 1k I couldn't have done it with all of y'all subscribing and unsubscribing. <laughs> but uh, those of you that stuck here and stay subscribed, I really appreciate you guys. I just have no idea how grateful I am to have reached that subscriber goal. I've been trying to reach the goal for a long time. Literally a really long time. I finally got to that goal so now I can stop. I could breathe a little bit we're like okay I got that goal now I have to set a new goal I really started YouTube um probably about five years ago maybe started about five years ago and it was really inconsistent like I would post one video today then maybe like another video next week or something I didn't delete all the videos from when I first started posting because like I felt like they was pointless. And I got into YouTube about five years ago. It was inconsistent. I was very inconsistent, mostly probably because it wasn't my time. You know how when you start something, but it's not really your time to start it at that moment. That's how I feel right now. Like I would always be like okay i'm gonna pick up the camera I, I even bought a camera from amazon it's like one of the 4k things and the quality wasn't good at all and y'all know i go for good quality so i was always putting it off and putting it off like once i get a camera and some better equipment i'm going to just start recording for youtube and all of that and it never happened like i would put a video and it was like oh, i don't know what else to what else what other type of content to record like what should i do what should i talk about i'm still camera shy i can be at home here with y'all and talk to y'all like this but if i go out in public i'm not really talking that much like uh yeah i'm gonna record a bits and pieces here and there but like actually having the confidence to actually be behind the camera i'm not there yet but i'm slowly getting there every day what actually made me this time really get motivated and stay consistent with it was in November. I think it was in November, like towards the end of November or something like that. I was like, I want me an iPad. I want one of them, the big iPads with the two cameras on the back and I'm going to get it. And it was like right before Black Friday. And so I was working hard, hard, hard trying to get this iPad. I'm like, if I get this iPad for Black Friday, I'm starting my YouTube back and I'm not letting up like period. No, not letting up at all. Like this has to be I have to do it like five years ago. If I would have stayed consistent with it like I am right now, I would be way further along than I am now. So I'm thinking about the next five years. Like I started now, five years from now, I will be where I want to be at with this YouTube stuff. And just in my life in general, I'm really so excited that I hit my goal of 1,000 subscribers because I've been trying to get there for a long time. November after I got my iPad. So this is my iPad now. Like this is her i got her case pencil and all of that i love it i love my ipad so much i do everything on there i record on my phone and then i transfer the videos to my ipad and i do all my editing on my ipad no better investment than that if i'm gonna spend my money on it especially money money on something I'm going to stick to it. I spent money on these locks. I'm going to stick to my locks. I'm going to stick to the lock journey and hopefully I will love the journey. I got this iPad, bro. I have been recording videos every day since December 1st. I've been editing videos on my iPad. My first goal was to complete Vlogmas. 25 days 
of Vlogmas. Every day, nonstop, I was consistent with posting. In the beginning, I was like, I'm gonna do this. This is something that I wanna do. I'm gonna get it done. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna have enough time for one to get up every day and record some content. What ideas, what am I gonna record about? I'm waking up six o'clock in the morning, working my nine to five job. I work from 6.30 to three o'clock. I mean, that's still early enough, but girl, I'm big pregnant. I mean, it's higher by the time I get off, but I still make time to invest my time in myself. And that's the most important thing that you need to do. I feel like it's investing your time in yourself you take time for this being an employee you're taking time to get up every day faithfully to get that bread that that steady income but you can't take time to think of new ideas to invest in yourself and make your own money i made that goal and i i wrote i wrote it down i had my little journal journal Shamari wrote on it, but this is what it says. Everything is coming together. I put everything in here. Everything goes in here. Whatever I want out of life, I write it down. When I have a vision for it, I write it. Like they say, write it, make it plain, read it again and again and again. Keep that in your head. I made my vision board for 2024. I might turn around and show y'all, but I don't know. I might, I might not. Once I made that commitment to do Vlogmas, it made me have this idea to put up my little shelf, like set up my office, my closet, because it's really in my closet space. I turned it into my office, y'all. Like, I'm really dedicated now. Like, I feel like this is a change. All I was doing was praying and meditating and manifesting, trying to put into the universe, like, this certain this is a, this is there's a certain lifestyle that I'm trying to get to. Ever since I found out that I was pregnant with twins, I'm like, ain't no way that I can continue working this uh, as an employee. I gotta work for myself now. Like I have to do this for me and my three boys. Like, there's no way that I cannot not do it like at least if I fail I can say that I tried but your girl's not gonna fail your girl is going to succeed okay for this year I didn't make a new year's resolution I haven't did that in a long time actually to be honest what I did was I just like I said wrote it down like I believed that I can achieve anything that I want anything that I want I get it to be honest, that's that's how I perceive life. If I want this, I'm gonna get it. If I work hard, I'm gonna get what I want, okay? In these next six to five years, I mean, not six to five years, in these next six months to the next five years, I will be exactly where I want to be at in life. I want YouTube to be my platform like i want my boss queen beauty and my beauty brand to get me places in life like this is my passion so i make it to all of you lovely beautiful ladies i don't even want to be a makeup artist like i could do my own makeup i might can do other people's makeup but i'd rather not touch all in your face i want to sell you the thing to make you beautiful yeah that's what i want to do this is my Boss Queen Beauty lip gloss. If you're wondering, well, not the lip gloss, it's actually number nine lipstick. I did it as a lip liner. And then I use my Boss Queen Beauty lip gloss and went over it. Period. Like, I feel like this time around that I'm actually starting back, I'm in there. I'm good here. I'm I'm in there, stuck like Chuck. Okay, <laughs> but on a serious note, y'all, I'm really grateful to have been able to reach my my goal. Now I have to write down the rest of my goals since I made this first one. I can't stop right here. This is not the ending point. This is not where I want to be at. I 
it's it's steps i want to get that 100k plaque i want my plaque to be hanging up right here on this wall in the next six months yeah i gained about 200 subscribers in the last month because like i said i started being more consistent in december so every day of december i posted every day starting in january this year i've been posting content and uh promoting it on facebook i'm in these facebook groups and every day i do ask myself like i made it this far i know i can make it even farther i don't want to stop here like yes my babies will be here anytime soon but i don't want to stop i got to keep going i've been reading this book it's called feeding the soul and it's what's been helping me stay motivated and consistent i don't get on social media like that anymore instagram used to be my number one platform i would wake up and open up instagram but the only time i get on instagram is to promote my youtube videos i'll promote my youtube videos either as a reel or i'll post on my story and then i'll log off the whole instagram i don't even get no notifications nothing i'll log out the whole app for the rest of, of the entire day the only social media platform i might use would be snapchat and tiktok youtube facebook that's it i'm not on there all day though like i get up like i said at 6 30 in the morning start my job i'm not doing nothing but focusing on that during the time that i'm working after i get out work then i'm editing a video or like right now recording another video doing something that's for myself reading this book by this book is by tabitha brown i think i showed y'all it before y'all it is good ass book so far once i get finished with this video i'm gonna read some of it y'all it is amazing another thing that's been keeping me consistent and motivated is my planner i got it last year in 2023 and it goes all the way up to 2024 it goes to june 2024 let me tell y'all let me show y'all actually rather i started like i said when christmas came i mean when uh thanksgiving came and i received my ipad there was no more play in me like i'm standing on business <laughs> look y'all look let me show y'all this say december 2023 right let me show y'all what the title of december 2023 says the future is yours you believe it you will achieve it i believe the future is mine my goal for december was a thousand subscribers today is january 9th in my opinion says is the ninth and i had my thousand subscribers i didn't hit it by the end of december but i hit it at the beginning of january and i know that if i can hit that goal in a less than a month or a month it's up like girl you got the sauce you got the recipe so like every day i will write in my planner like it's hold on, let's see it's seven lines on each day and as you can see each day is damn near filled up and got check marks that's december 11th through 13th look next this is the whole next week like next days got them check marks on there got them check marks like i was not playing then like of course towards the end of december because i was in new york so i didn't really write too much but i made sure that them videos was uploaded on them days i made sure of all of that i was filled up all the way to the 31st and here we are look we got january 2024 guess what it say make your dreams happen Baby, I am going to make these dreams happen. If not for me, for my boys. I'm building a legacy for them. 
yes, I want to live a certain lifestyle, but I want to give my babies the world. Like, I want to do things with them that I didn't do as a child growing up. Ain't no more playtime. I done wasted the last five years of where I could have been, y'all. Like, I could have... I'm not going to even talk about shoulda, woulda, coulda. Because we in the is and the now. We in the now. January 1st. Look at y'all. Filled up. Filled up. And that's just the first week. This here, the second week. Filled up. Got my goals. And these are the days that has not even come up yet. Y'all, your girl is not playing. I did not come here to play. I came here to slay, okay? <laughs> this is my baby right here. Everything is coming together. Everything is coming together. When I say do, it is. It happens, okay? I do it for my boys. I do it for our future. Like, no. I'm trying to get out of my lazy girl era and get into my soft girl, my big boss energy element, you know, all that good stuff. I'm 25. I do not want to waste five more years till I'm 30. To, I'm not trying to wait till I'm 30 to get to where I want to be. I'm trying to retire before 60. Not at 60. The fuck? No ma'am no pam another thing that was holding me back i would say was the people that i was hanging around like i was talking about being camera shy i would not be around my friends and them like you know recording vlogging doing all this like what i'm doing talking to y'all like that like i'm still camera shy like i said but i'm gaining confidence that was the, another reason why I got off of Instagram because everybody that I know is on Instagram and they either may fuck with my, my TikTok, my YouTube, or they don't really fuck with it like that. They definitely sure as hell don't be reposting, resharing my shit. So to save myself the negative feeling that I would get from that, I would just rather post what I post and get straight off of it so i don't even have to think about um ain't nobody hearting my stuff ain't nobody liking my things like i just post on there and get off like i try to eliminate the people that are not bringing much value to my life if you're not bringing value to me then you gotta go like it's been people that's been trying to like you know hit me up hang out stuff like that if you're not trying to be here for a long time you can't be here at all i'm on a mission like i wasted my first early 20s my first five years um d hanging out with with y'all like i've been doing everything else like partying and not really focusing on what i really really want out of life or my goals i've been living life i mean i ain't gonna even lie those years were pretty good though they were amazing they probably shaped me into the type of person that i am today it wasn't all bad but when i look at it these next th five years gonna be even better last thing that i would just want to say is really if you are trying to hit a goal if you have goals in mind things that you want to do just do it like nike say there is no better time than now when i was thinking about it in december and november like maybe i'll start next year like next year is going to be in my year no why not start right now like start now you're gonna if you start now like you're that much closer to tomorrow <laughs> like you know like why keep putting it off that was my thing i was always procrastinating like i'd be like when i do when i get this i'm gonna start i'm gonna start i'm gonna start I'm gonna start start and never end up starting that's why i just did it december i was like i'm just gonna do it i wrote it down i was like i'm gonna start having a lot of ideas for vlogmas and when I tell y'all I would have idea after idea, I was like off Maya Miguel when she used to get her little flashes and her little ponytail. 
it was just like that and then i would find myself recording two three times a day having buku different content for like three days ahead of time five days ahead of time and that's what made me realize like yes this is my time this is this is me this is my me time it's it's only up from here i don't have no negative thoughts in my ears i'm just doing me i've been by myself i've been focusing on myself focusing on me and having positive energy attracting positive energy i don't be around on negative energy i don't do it I watch these YouTubers that uplift you, that teach you how to become a better version of yourself. I do meditate a lot. Like I said, I stay to myself. I learn myself. I'm learning myself. Yes, I do want to invite love and prosperity and all of that into my life. But at this moment, I'm focusing on me, my babies, my boys, like when i found out i was having twins y'all i'm gonna have to tell y'all story at another time but that just put me in a different type of grind mode like i don't know and people be like well that it, it forced you to to do something different live a different life. okay if it forced me to do it that means this was my time to do it right like something was holding me back before like you know there's different steps in our life. All I just want to know, say is that I'm going to get to the top. That's on period. That's on everything. Whether you're here with me or not. If the same people going to be here in the next six months or in the next five years. I don't know if you're still going to be watching. I'm probably going to get new family every day to be honest and i'm loving it like i'm loving every bit every journey every process every step like even if it's baby steps i'm enjoying it i'm having patience with everything i'm not gonna rush anything because everything takes time i am really just coming over here to tell you how grateful i am for y'all getting me to 1k i really excited for the next goals that I accomplish. I'm really excited for the journey that is yet to come. My babies will be here really soon. I'm not prepared for them, but I will be ready for them whenever they plan to make their arrival. I really want to cry right now because like I really been through a lot in these last five years and it really made me the person that i am like no lie and when i think about it, i'm like damn i'm really 25 like i don't look it but i'm really that shit like next five years is gonna go by so fast my baby about to be going to be 10 years old in five years and my two newborns gonna be five like they're gonna be the age of my little boy right now and there's nothing else that you do believe in yourself you are god god is within you believe it god said his will will be done if god is within you your will will be done if you believe it you're unstoppable write it down Make a vision board. Let me show y'all. This is mine. This is my vision board. See, I got my content creator thingy thing right there. I really want to add to it. I was supposed to make it bigger because there's a lot more goals that I want to accomplish than what's on this board i am probably about to call it a day a night it's been a day i made it to a thousand subscribers and now we gotta run them views up we gotta run them views up run them views up because that's the next step go tell your friends go tell your friends friends tell your friends tell their friends to tell their friends 
subscribe to my channel i want to meet new people once i drop these babies i will be traveling a whole lot more to do different collabs and everything like that i'm really excited for my next goal and the next step of this journey like i feel like i really completed a milestone y'all like the road to 1k it was amazing it was amazing i'm excited to see where we go from here if you guys enjoyed my little rant go ahead and like this video subscribe to my channel let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys want to know about what other type of videos y'all want to see me do what other type of content y'all want to see me do i don't know i want to prank my baby soon when he comes back uh y'all need to let me know what type of prank ideas i should do on his but if y'all can't tell it like i'm super excited like i can't even <laughs> i can't keep it in like i can't i feel like i've been smiling this whole video my cheekbones won't even go down like i'm super excited yay me for getting to a thousand subscribers i knew that i was gonna get there i just didn't know when i didn't know if i was gonna be consistent enough but once i put my mind to it and stay consistent i knew that it would happen and it happened so i'm trying to run them views up i'm super excited that I reached my goal. But I did that. I I did that on my own. With that with you guys, of course. But it was me. I'm the one that had to do the videos every day and grind every day to get to this point. It's not hard. I mean it's not easy. I'm saying it's not hard. Yeah, girl. Let's run them subscribers up, run them views up, and I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.